This is my bee blast cabinet, Harbor Freight Central Pneumatic, which I've highly modified to where it works really, really nice now. And what I'd like to do is sandblast the face of my golf clubs. That's one thing that you're allowed to do on a golf club. You can't modify the grooves and other stuff, but you can re uh, sandblast or bee blast the face. Now that I'm getting better, I'm able to control the spin more and I can really tell the difference when uh, you lose that grip on the face. So, the idea is to drill a hole in the cabinet somewhere in here, uh, take this coupling, cut it in half, put one half on the inside, one half on the outside, and glue a short length of pipe between them, and then on the part out here, uh, I'll leave the pipe a little long. I'll glue. I'll uh, just set this cap on. So when I'm not using the blast cabinet for a golf club or a long piece, I can put the cap on. And when I am, I'll just stick the long piece in there and just stick a rag or something to block it off so the stuff doesn't come out. Okay, I've moved this tool way over. It's what the kids nowadays would call sketch. It's uh, barely on there. It's got one good solid bolt, but the other one's hanging off. But this is just some ABS. Um, so I'm hoping that it's going to work. You take a measurement in here to see where that center rib is. 17455. Go ahead and lock that. Now I'm going to. Turn on the spindle, maybe 100 RPM. Okay, this is going to be my line. That's the start of that rib. Now let's move it over. Okay, now we're starting to cut. There we go. This is going to be a little tricky for me to film without blocking the camera, so I'll do my best. I just want to position this. There's a rib inside here. I don't know if you can see that. I want to miss that. In fact, what I'll do, I'll drill it from the inside out. So. I'm drilling a quarter inch pilot hole without the hole saw so that I can get it lined up. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and install the hole saw on the mandrel. Okay, I'm not thrilled about drilling a hole saw this big by hand. I do have the clutch on the drill set so that it hopefully will release before it rips my arms off. Um. Outside. Outside. Okay, I just made sure that the drill is coming through the pilot hole. Okay. 
Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to measure a piece of pipe that goes to the back of this inside, plus a little bit more, it's like about three inches, a piece three inch long, and that'll get this piece on the inside. I'm going to glue my three inch piece to my coupling. There's a flange here. I'm going to do that off camera. There's nothing exciting about that. And then I'll slide this through from the inside and then glue my piece on the outside. Now, one thing about plastic pipe when you glue it together, I don't know if you can see it here, but this, you have to bevel the pipe on the outside and you divert on the inside. Um, what that does, if you don't do, well, if you do that, it allows the glue to slide past. If you don't bevel it, sometimes when you push it together, you just push all the glue off, that, that tight uh, uh, 90 on the end will just push all the glue off and you won't get a good joint. Um, now, this isn't carrying any pressure or anything, so it'll probably work fine. The other thing is, this is ABS, so you need to use ABS glue and not PVC glue. This is the other half of the coupling. I'm going to glue this on, then I'll cut another oh, three inch piece so I can stick on the cap. Now I could probably get away with not gluing this at all and just using a press fit. But uh, I want to, this goes on there. I want to get that a little bit of a squeeze. That way I know nothing's going to leak out. Okay, now I just need another 3 inch piece and um, I'll glue that on next. I'm going to glue this end piece on. This little coupling to allow me to put the cap on. bottomed out and then this is just a pipe cap I'll just slip on there and when I want to put a golf club in take the cap off put a golf club in stuff it with rags to keep the stuff coming out and I can do a golf club Okay, here's a before picture of this golf club. I'm going to go, there it goes. Okay, that's the before. Okay, it's going to get a little noisy because I'm going to turn on the, the vacuum for this um, glass cabinet. If you don't have the vacuum on, dust goes all over the garage. Okay, here we go. Oh, you can see I masked off the area that I do not want to get anything on. Okay, that's all it took a few seconds and I got no sand in my garage which is nice plug on here's the after 
sandblasting. Much better. That'll last for a couple months.